Hello, <coughs> Hello everyone, Flying Dutch here, and welcome back to our tutorial for complete beginners. We are playing as Germany, and we are in 1938, the 10th of June, and we are preparing ourselves for the unavoidable unav uh, World War II, of course. So let's uh, unpause the game over here, and let's take a look at the things we need to do. So it's I have only time to make one recording today. So uh, I reloaded the game, so we get the missing equipment production for the transport planes again. Right-click this away. Uh, we do have some doctrines available. The air and the naval doctrine. Uh, we do have a lot of navy experience already in uh, air experience. But I'm going to uh, click these things uh, when we are going to war. Because there is no need to spend it right now. Uh, for example, uh, you only get a static bonus over here. And maybe we can get some uh, air doctrine reductions. And then we can get these, uh, these things uh, for cheaper. And the same counts for the fleet and being that I want to get. Uh, we will. We, we are trying to get as many of these before the war comes out, but most likely we will only get uh, two or three of these. Uh, but I will only click these ones when I have a discount. Uh, there are still some ways to get discounts, I think. Let's take a look here. Can we get something over here? No. This one? No, I don't think we are going to get any discount. We will get discount from the air innovations. And Air Innovation 2 as well, I think. Well, not sure. No, not this one. Uh, Army inno Innovations give us more uh, land doctrine reductions. And then, then I will use the points. So it's a bit more cost efficient. Uh, we have the Mavel Bills uh, due again. And yes, we are making medium tanks 1. And uh, that's fine for now. We will make template a little bit later. Now, let's take a look at our logistics over here. Uh, we do one, once again have a thousand artillery in our stockpiles. Uh, and the support equipment is finally done being not in a deficit anymore, so that is nice. Um, so I think we're going to use some of our artillery and make some of our troops into attacking uh, troops again. So right now we have 22 defensive units on this border with Poland and we have 16 attacking units on this side with Poland. These uh, infantry attack with 9 infantry and 4 artillery and some support companies. I think we're going to do the same over here. Right now we only have a defensive army in Prussia. Uh, I am going to... Let's see how many tiles we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tiles. So at least 8 units are going into a new army. We right click on this bar so that it's under this field marshal. This army group. We are going to change the symbol also to blue and a star. Because this is going to be my attacking army. And we will change the template to the attacking infantry. Do we have enough? We do have enough artillery. Um, we don't have the support equipment yet. But the other things we uh, we will have. So we are going to do this. And this way we have at least one attacking unit uh, on the border with, uh, uh, with Poland as well. Now we need a new commander. Let's take a look at the commanders that we have left. Uh, especially someone that has, an, that has an attacking stat. So we could take, take uh, Maximilian here. Uh, but he's not having the infantry trait. So he will not get the experience quicker. Uh, Johannes Blaskovic here does have it. So this one will get uh, the experience a lot quicker. So I guess I'm going to get Johannes over here. Um, and then this army group is full actually. Oh yeah, and they have an, uh, they have a uh, exclamation mark. The army has no order. Uh, we need to make a front line. And we need to give them a offensive line over here. So that they can get planning bonus. And then that is all ready to go. Now we are still making our industry. We are making some oil refineries. You can see over here. That we are finally getting a little bit of oil. Uh, from our refinery. 76 now. So it's still very low. And uh, let's go to our uh, volunteers in, J in Japan over here. We're trying to get to Nanjing with my tanks over here. It's going to be very hard to do because there are no uh, there are no supply ups over here. There's one over here though. Maybe we should try to get that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change my plan here and I will try to get this supply up. And let's make a front line like this and stop this. So let's hold all the attacks, press H on your keyboard, and then your units will go to the front line. They also lost a lot of organization, so uh, let's give them a bit of time over here. 
And there we go, we have the expanded dockyard facilities. Which means we have now three dockyards. We are not using all our dockyards, so let's take care of this first. Now the dockyards are in the low part of my production. So uh, we are making one more battleship, which will be available in November 1939. The carriers will be uh, ready before September, so... Uh, what I will try to do is to time this, so that my fleet will be ready. And that we can go to war at the, uh, at the right time. So yeah, let's go to our navy. Uh, we can see that we have one extra battleship over here. We have to right click it here. Then shift click on naval exercises to get it to maximum uh, training. This one is already trained. So this one will go to my main battle fleet. And then when we take a look at this and wait for that boat to arrive. You now see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six capital ships. This one is coming, that is number seven. And this will be number eight. So we will have two carriers with eight battleships. That is exactly the amount you need to protect your carriers. And eight times four is 32 screen ships. So we need a lot more screen ships over here. Because right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my god, it's doing weird. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, that's correct. We have 20 screenships, so we need 12 more. So we have to make some cheap ships to protect our capital ships. Now, the cheapest one are the destroyers, so I think I'm just going to make some of these uh, destroyers over here, the Zerstörer. And we want to make... 12 of these and you can see that at this pace they are not going to be produced in time because right now one ship takes how long june july august september four months that is way too long so we need to put some naval dockyards away that this one will go quicker uh, not this one that's november june october okay we can do this and that's it really hmm if I do it like this, then these three ships will be built almost at the same time. At the end of 1939. Uh, I could maybe stop my convoys, but we really need it. So we just need more dockyards, really. We want to get f at least five more dockyards. But this, this thing can go uh, a lot quicker. Uh, we could produce them. But maybe we can do another naval uh, focus. We still have plan Z. It only gives two, though. So you have to make a decision as Germany, do you want to go Plan C or U-Boat? They both give two naval dockyards. Plan C is for trade interdiction, so convoy raiding and uh, submarine uh, production. But we are going with a, a with a battle fleet, so we are going to go with Plan Z over here. Uh, but I don't think that is worth my time at this point, so we are not going to do Plan C right now. Um, what I will do though is do the German-Swedish trade agreement. Um, I do this because we will get access to the resources in Sweden on the uh, Vesterbottom uh, province or area and that way we don't have to use our factories to train and we can use it for other things so that's why we are going to do this focus because uh, right now I am okay we don't need that much chromium anymore because I changed my production so we can go back to one civilian factory and put this to zero but we are still trading for tungsten and uh, how much tungsten are we trading yeah, also two factories. So when I get the trade agreement with Sweden, we can uh, free up three factories. So that is uh, that's a good idea, I think. I'm, I'm going to do that. Uh, okay, let's go back to the army view and to the tanks over here. Are you getting your organization up? No, because you are getting attacked the whole time, I guess. Are you getting to skill 6? Oh, yes you are. And you have a new trade available. What is this trade? Oh, the guerrilla fighter. Yeah, we don't want that. The entrenchment speed is not uh, useful. And are you getting to skill 4? Oh, yes you are. I like that. When you hover over your um, guy's portrait, you can see which trades are getting learned. So, organizer is coming. It's 53% there. What about you? 
Organizer. I don't know where Organizer... Oh, this one! A bit more planning speed and that could go into logistics, so less uh, supply consumption, which is really good. We're absolutely gonna go with that one. Now, can you guys... Uh, split a bit, because... Okay, now we are getting the attacks here, and there we go, guys. We are having our Sturmkajuts, which is our anti-tank, our tank destroyer. We have now uh, we have the Stug and we have the Grill, together with the Panzer III. And I'm not going to get the the uh, anti-air because we have our own uh, airplanes, but these three tanks are going to make a template very soon. And uh, yeah, we are going to uh, pr produce everything there at some point. Uh, I don't think we have enough army experience yet to make the template, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer. And let's see which technologies we are going to get now. How far are these away? Excavation... Yeah, we don't have to wait. Uh, we have all the air things I want. We do have all the... Naval stuff we want. These ones are sometimes very cheap, but... 1939, that is still ahead of time. This one is a little bit ahead of time. The new guns are a little bit ahead of time. We could research marines. Marines are having a bonus against uh, Marsh's River and a naval invasion. Uh, but the thing is, you only have so much uh, special units you can make. And uh, we already have some mountaineers. They are also special forces. I think that is listed over here. We can have 61 regiments. Not divisions, but regiments. So we now have 30. Because we have uh, 6 times 5, which is 30. So it's a decent uh, uh, cap over here. We, and we could increase it with some technologies, I think. Where is it? Where can you increase the uh, amount of special forces? Maybe nowhere. Ah. Huh. Or, or paratroopers. We could also do paratroopers. I'm not really sure what I want to uh, research. Maybe we should just do fuel refinery. Because it's the only thing that is still available uh, for 1938. So let's just get it. It gives a very small bonus and takes a long time. But in the long end it will help us out. So let's get it. Okay, you're having your planning bonus almost up to the max. And then we will try to... Uh, push to this uh, this supply up over here and hopefully we can get a connection with our railways and then we can maybe push from this one to uh, this one okay let's see if we can win and I give them force attack so they have a bit more attacking power okay they are not attacking over here let's help them out a little bit Sometimes when you uh, press play, they don't want to uh, do something. It is costing us a lot of oil, though, what we are doing over here. You can see that our oil is going down and down and down. Because these tanks use a lot of oil. Now, we are making some more of these uh, synthetic refineries, but I think we need way more of it. Oh yeah, and what we also should do is start making those uh, tank destroyers. So, tank destroyers give uh, piercing and a uh, heart attack 20. We're going to put this in. We're going to make the stuck. Only one factory for now. Uh, let's see. We have the Panzer three, the Grill, and the stuck. And I want six on two on two, I think. Well, I want eight on two on two at some point. I want to make four times as much medium tanks than the artillery and the tank destroyer. Uh, but for now, we don't have enough factories. So maybe we should do... Uh, Four, and then one and one, for the time being. And we should start making those, so let's do it like... First like this, because we already have some medium tanks in the in our stockpiles. These ones need to build up uh, production efficiency gap, so let's do it like this. Alright, we have researched the radar. We don't build any radar yet, and then we have uh, the technology for 1939. 
still far away. Uh, we do have those bonuses now for better ships, but this is 1940, so that is a bit far, far away in my opinion. Hmm. Well, we have a luxury problem. I could get uh, light, uh, the Vespa and the Marder over here. And make my tank template different. We could do something like that, but I think I'm going to do it when I can make the Leo part over here. Some, uh, some light tanks. And I think I'm going to skip the mouse. <laughs> the super heavy tank of Germany. <laughs> if you want to read that, uh, there is a nice documentary on uh, YouTube about the mouse. So you should really watch it. <laughs> this was a horrible mistake. Uh, it just broke down, I think. And uh, <laughs> it's just so much fun. You know what? Let's unlock the Marines. Maybe we're going to make some. Okay, tankies, are you going to push through over here? We have a decent amount of uh, territory from uh, China. You can see that Japan is also uh, putting troops on their ports against naval invasions. With the same order as we're doing, with my garrisons. Am I making more garrisons? Oh yeah, we are still making uh, 20 more. They should come online at some point. I don't like that we are losing so much oil. I really don't. And I wonder how quickly these boats are getting built, my screen ships. You know what? Let's build a couple of naval dockyards. Now you can only build this at the coastline. Uh, we don't have a good bonus on infrastructure in some of these states, so let's do that first then. Uh, we can build six more factories in Königsberg. I guess I'm going to do it over there. So we will build up the infrastructure here. And then five of these. And they will go over here. Well, here. And then we will have at least one full production line of destroyers coming out. Okay, excavation one. We have we are excavating more materials. The uh, resource map mode. We're getting more of this. Do we get see the bonus here as well, or? Well, maybe not. How does excavation work then? Now you can see now we are making. Um, Making our synthetic refineries, we are making our own rubber. So we can stop trading with at least one factory. Because we have a surplus of rubber. So let's do that immediately. And now we need another technology. I could get pirate troopers. It's the only thing that is still in... Uh, that we can research before we are getting some penalties. Huh. Yeah, it is absolutely... Oh, wait, we have... Do we get the computing machine? Yeah, so let's wait for the computing machine. And then we can take uh, these two. And encryption and decryption. I'm not 100% sure how that works. But I only know it's very good to have that up to date. Because otherwise you get penalties in combat, I think. So, that is the only thing I can tell you about it. Well... I think we are we were gaining terrain, they lost. We have to go through hills over here, yeah that's, that's not a great idea. We are actually very close to Nanjing over here and there are planes over here. So I'm gonna switch my plans here, I will right click the delete order. I'll make a new front line over here. And I will actually try to get Nanjing, because if we can get Nanjing and we can get this railway these railway tiles, we will have all the supplies over here and we can uh, push further into China. I think that's what I'm gonna do. How are we doing on our materials? We have enough artillery again. Well, we are doing very well on our materials. Ok, 
Okay, they are attacking me. Okay, I guess this is a lake, yeah, so they cannot go there, so this will be the front line. You can see that they have supply issues. If we could just make a quick push over here. We also need a port. Is there any port over here? Yeah, we need Shanghai over here. Is that Shanghai? Yeah, we need Shanghai. If we cannot get Shanghai, we will not get any supplies, I think. So you can do this, and then they will first do this order. And then they will do this one. There we go. We have the computing machine, which gives a technology boost. We now have 13%. And now we can get the encryption and decryption. Encryption will hide information about units on the map and focus tree progression from other countries. A higher value than the enemy's decryption will negate enemy decryption combat bonuses. So, that is why you want to do these. Yeah, they're out of supplies already, I think. Yeah. This might be a mistake, but let's give this one try. Let's wait for the planning bonus to be uh, at the maximum. Oh, we actually won a tile, apparently. We have an excavation tech, so we make even more resources. It's August now. And now we have absolutely nothing, I think. Yeah, the paratroopers. Two hundred and one days, that is a lot. Let's get the better artillery, it's only 119 days, we are doing this ahead of time. But... We are getting way better artillery, we go from tier 1 to tier 2, which gives way more soft attack, which is very useful when we are going to war, so let's just do that a bit earlier. Okay, how are you planning bones? It's almost ready, let's do this and this. And tell them to try this. Okay, they are going. Not winning that battle, but we are keeping them pinned down. That is also worth something. Let's go here. Ooh, what is happening? I don't know. Okay. The 4th International, a number, of, a number of communist delegations from around the world met in Paris today for a founding conference. Laying the groundwork for what has been known as the 4th International. Calls for its formation have existed for years, with support of Trotsky's theories taking the lead. And Stalin doesn't like this. Oh, what is this? We have a decision that we can do. We can ban democratic parties. So, we did not take a look at this one yet. Uh, we have less than 20% support for Zentrum, the, the centrals. And when I click this... We will, uh, we will ban every... Uh, we will ban all the, the, the support of democracy. But we will gain a minus 12% base stability. So we don't want to do this. We want to keep our stability as high as possible for all the bonuses we get. So we are not going to do the ban communism or ban uh, communism or democratic parties. We are not going to ban the other parties because it gives a stability penalty. We will maybe do these two ones at some point. And maybe this one. But right now we want to spend our points on other things. So yeah, we have, we have unselected almost everything in this... Uh, Events and decisions tab over here. We're not going to use any of it. Okay, we are getting to this tile. We are going very slowly because there is no supply over here. And there we go. We have the German-Swedish trade agreement. And that means... Well, it doesn't show yet. I think we have to unpause the game first. But we are going to get tons of extra resources with this. Alright, uh, let's see what we want to do now. Is there anything I want here? Well, before we go to war, you always want to get the West Wall. Because with this focus, you get 12 land forts uh, on the border with France. To keep the French out. But before we go to war, we need to, this one, to do this one. But right now, we don't. 
uh, the other walls here are only uh, useful later in the game. The Oswald, I think I'm never gonna build because that are that will be the the uh, the line of defense that Germany historically had when they uh, split Poland in two with the Soviet. But I'm gonna take Poland myself, so and the Oswald will not be very useful, I think, because it will be a uh, line of forts in the middle of my country and not at the border with uh, the Soviet Union. We can do coal liquidation. We can get a uh, research bonus and we get an extra synthetic refinery. And it will also give us extra rubber. These two can be really good. Uh, Army Innovations 2 can be really good. But maybe it is time to uh, continue our political tree here. Now this will be the trigger for the World War, the Danzig or War Focus. Uh, but we can take uh, we can we can take all of Czechoslovakia peacefully, and that's what I'm gonna do. I think uh, you can also prevent Czechoslovakia and make them fascists. I think, but we are going this tree here. So it all started with demanding the Sudetenland. Uh, the fate of the Sudet Germans was one of the worst injustices inflicted the, by the Treaty of Versailles. They must be brought under our protection, regardless of Czech uh, objections. Uh, the United Kingdom gets the Munich Conference. And we want to get Sudetenland from uh, Czechoslovakia. Okay. So we're gonna go for. Uh, Sudetenland is uh, this province. The border of uh, all the lands with, uh, with Czechoslovakia. Uh, uh, Hitler wanted back because there lived Germans there. And then he wants more. But that's, that's for later. Uh, let's continue over here. I see a lot of green arrows. And there we go, Sweden accepts our deal. Uh, this historically also made it that I think German did never uh, Germany never attacked Sweden, because they were a good trade partner. And now we have 55 tungsten, so we can stop all the trades here. And we have 23 chromium, so we can also stop the trades over there. And now we are completely uh, unreliable on anyone else, except for a little bit of rubber. But that, but that will go away soon when we build our uh, refineries. And that means that we have more factories for ourselves now. So that is really, really useful. We are really close to Nanjing. But we have no... Ah, you're skilled 6 now. Very nice. You are almost skilled 4. That will also give extra bonuses. Can I get to these tiles over here? Yeah, my tanks have huge penalties. To low supplies. And I know that. We will also get a big penalty against uh, attacking a uh, city over here. We need to watch out though that we are not going to lose... Um... Oh, we can stack wipe these units. Let's do that first. Uh, that we are not going to lose this, this corridor here. Because then we will get stack wiped. And then we lose all our tanks. Need to watch out a little bit here. Can you take these units out? Okay, they are making some uh, advancements over there. Yeah, it's not hard. It's not easy to uh, to win this. Uh, Battles over here. This is our, these are all mountains. That doesn't seem like a good idea. To attack over there. Japan needs to launch a uh, naval invasion, I think. I think otherwise we are going to get wrecked over here. We are losing so much tanks that I think I'm not going to do this any time longer. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retreat. We are getting way too much attrition. Let's uh, send my tanks over here for now. And please do this before they are going to... Uh... Are you getting... Are you running away? No, they're not running away yet. Please stay here. 
You need to hold this line. Oh, wait. You need to right click on one tile here. We cannot lose this corridor. Then these tanks will get uh, stack wiped here. Retreat over here. Take this tile. Yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake here. So attacking when you have no supply ups in the neighborhood is uh, not a good idea. Let's flee. They are attacking me, then they hold my uh, retreat. Again. They're almost there. Okay, they are out of there now. I don't think there's any way for us to help here, because there are no supply hubs that are helping us uh, out. There is this one still, but it's so hard to get. Is this planes? Wait, wait, wait. Are these plane tiles? Okay, there are some planes. Maybe we should try to follow this railway to Zhengzhou. That could be a thing I can do. Let's give this a try. Uh, this is communist China, also in at war with us. But there's only one over there. And then we have to attack through the hills. That doesn't sound like a good idea to me. So let's not do all of that. Uh, yes, we are making the, the templates here. Maybe we should make our tank template now. Let's go for it. We are producing our um, medium self-propelled artillery and tank destroyers. And we are making medium tanks. Now what you can do is make a new one from the ground. I don't know where that button is, actually. Uh, is there a... Oh, wait, Division Designer. Yeah, and then Create Empty. You can do that. But what I will do is go to my Light Tanks here. Click Edit. And then duplicate this one. And then make this one for myself. I do this because it will cost me less army experience to change a existing template. Than when you would make a new one. Because we are still going to use trucks to get organization. So we will click duplicate. We're going to call this the medium tanks. We'll give it a different symbol. Um, let's give them the tank with the, uh, the lightning here. There we go. And I'm going to uh, remove these ones. And also these ones. I think I'm going to remove everything. I think we will get a discount when we will add something. Uh, we will keep the uh, support equipment here. I think the motorized recon is a good idea for a uh, tank division. And we still want the uh, maintenance, the logistics and the single company. Do we not have the reliability? Oh yeah, that's this one. So you really want these three on your tanks. The maintenance to get more reliability. Logistics so you, lose, uh, so you use less fuel and less supplies. And you want the single company for your initiative. Uh, engineer is good for attacking bonuses in different terrains. And you want a recon. So you get a recon bonus. Now let's go over these things here. So we can make uh, combat battalions. So anti-tank, anti-air and anti artillery. But that's on foot. We can make mobile anti-air, anti-tank and artillery. Uh, that would be good to keep the speed at 12. Instead of four. But we are going to make. Not motorized infantry. But armored battalions. And we are going to get armored support battalions. So first we go to the armored battalions. And we are going to add medium tanks in here. You can see it doesn't cost anything. Because I removed some things. So let's see what this does. Let's see what a four medium tank template does for us. Well. We are having a lot of breakthrough. We have a little bit of armor and piercing as well. And we have some hard attack. And the soft attack is somewhat low, right? Uh, but this is already decent. But you can see that the organization is very low. This is too low to have a normal attack in my opinion. So we are going to increase the organization. Uh, you can do this by adding infantry. It's the only thing you can add to uh, increase your organization infantry units so you have infantry on foot you have uh, you have trucks and later on you will make mechanized infantry 
Right now we only have trucks, so we have to uh, add the motorized infantry. And you can see that the organization goes up. It's now 20.9. 25. And 29. Okay, let's stop over here. So this would be this would be a useful template. You can use this. Uh, you have 55 hardness, so you take 50% less damage from hard and soft attack. Almost. Uh, you have some soft attack and you have nice breakthrough. Now, I have made some special uh, tanks, right? And we are going to see what the difference is with these special tanks I make. So I'm going to save this template first. Now I'm going to change one medium tank. Oh yeah, you can't do that here. We need to make a new line here. And we are going to uh, select Armored Combat Battalions. And we are going to add the medium Self-Propelled Artillery. I am adding one grill over here. This is the Self-Propelled Artillery. It's an artillery unit on a tank. And let's see what happens to our soft attack. It goes from uh, 98 to 146. That is a huge increase. So I'm absolutely going to add this one over here. Uh, yes, we will lose a bit of organization because we have more units that is not infantry. And can I also add the tank destroyer here? Yes, I can. So let's do add this one as well. And the big difference you can see at is, is the piercing stat here. We go from 36 to 50. So I'm going to add this one as well. And this is going to be my medium uh, template over here. Four normal tanks, three trucks, maybe four actually. Let's see what the difference is. Yeah. Gets a bit more organization. They are going to use more fuel though. Let's do it like this. Four medium tanks, four trucks, one self-propelled artillery and one tank destroyer. This is going to be my medium tank uh, combination. This will have almost everything. It has decent soft attack, it has a very good breakthrough, and it has some piercing. So it could maybe pierce the uh, tanks as well from the, the Soviet Union with 49. Our armor is okay-ish. So this will be the template. I'm gonna save this. And we are gonna put this in play. We are gonna click train. And now the tanks are over here. I'm going to put this a bit higher up so it has a bit more... Uh, now where's the button over here? Move up. And move up. And I'm going to add two at the same time, I think. So to get one of these functional, we need 200 uh, medium tanks. 50 self-propelled artillery. And 50 medium tank destroyers. So we need four times the production of medium tanks compared to the uh, other two. And then they will come into the field and we will add them to an army. So this is my medium uh, template for now. Later in the game we will make this a lot bigger. But at the start of the game we don't have the uh, resources to make a huge uh, division uh, template. So we will do it a bit smaller. This one is already pretty hefty I think. 21 combat width is a, is a very big one. Okay. That is in the production queue. Let's go back over here. Let's see if we can actually do something. Our oil is still going down. Our refineries are getting uh, a little bit more. So it is, it is going up. And my naval dockyards are also getting built. So that is nice. Oh, and apparently... Communist uh, China has taken something. I uh, would love to get this thing. This uh, support, uh, support hub. Oh, and you skilled up. Yeah, we have a skill for Field Marshal now. And it has a new trait. So you're already a Panzer Leader. Uh, you can also become a Panzer Expert. This gives defense to your armor. We can also do Combat Arms. This will give your motorized and mechanized more defense. I like the combat arms more because I think motorized is having a higher defense stat than tanks, so let's pick that one. Okay, they're almost there. Gonna get their planning bonus up. 
And then let's see if we can make a push to uh, this supply up here. We have researched the uh, encryption. So it's still 1938, so we are really uh, having a luxury problem, I think. Now we are getting the better artillery already. The guns are 166 days. Is uh, this 1939? Let's get the uh, next industrial uh, tax over here. I'm going to get the construction a little bit earlier. It's still cheaper than the base cost, so... Let's get all of that out of the way. Uh, we do have 150 points, so we want to spend this. Our manpower is getting a little bit low. So we could now increase our conscription law. We still have a political advisor slot open. Uh, apparently we are losing a little bit of support for our political party, which is hurting our stability a little bit. We want to get this as high as possible, so maybe we should get Josef Goebbels over here to get more fascism support over time. Yeah, let's get this, uh, let's get uh, Goebbels. This will give the NSDAP a daily change of 0.02 extra. And over time this will make my party uh, in power a bit more. And we get a bit more war support as well. Which is good when we are going to war, so... Let's get all of that for ourselves. Alright tanks, are you ready? They are. So, uh, let's go and force attack. They should attack in the planes. Be nice if we can get this uh, supply up as well. So let's try to get this one. They are running away. And when they are having force attack, you cannot uh, tell them where to go. So we need to wait a bit here. Want to attack this? Uh, we are attacking a mountain with tanks, which is not a good idea. But I'm still going to try it. Maybe we are strong enough. Yeah. Ooh. Terrain, minus 57. Well... Let's keep, let's keep that uh, going for a bit. Maybe we can win. Wow. We are maybe even winning, because they cannot penetrate me. They have a huge defense stat, but we have a uh, very much attack. And there we go, there is the Munich Conference. Uh, this is because we completed our focus. Uh, talks have been held in Munich between the leaders of Germany, Britain, France and Italy to discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. Both the British and French have accepted our claims to the Sudetenland as legitimate. And their previous offers to support the Czechs have been... rescinded? Oh dear. And recognizing the hopelessness of their situation, the Czechs have surrendered the Sudeten territories to us. Their oppressed German inhabitants will at long last be brought to the Fatherland. So we're gonna get Sudetenland. Uh, it will be a core. We get more war support and we get more stability. That means that we now own this, uh, this uh, line of uh, terrain around the Czechoslovakia. We get more factories, we get a bit more manpower. Now we have three factories over here. I think that at least we want to get more guns. And that we want to go to six medium tanks soon. And get these things in the field. The next focus will be the first Vienna award. Because we want to get all of Czechoslovakia. And, and use their gold to reduce our cost for the Mavo build. So we will do first Vienna award. That is a, uh, a thing with, uh, with Hungary. The Hungarians were one of the people that suffered worst after the Great War. In the slaughter of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, many Hungarians were stranded on foreign soil, so their ancestors had lived there for ages. We could greatly improve our relations with Hungary by awarding them some territories from Czechoslovakia. But we're gonna give land from Czechoslovakia to Hungary. <laughs> yep, that's what happened. And then we will annex all of Czechoslovakia. With the next focus. And no one is going to stop us because no one wants war. And that will be it for this episode, I think. 
So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I am going to prepare for work, and I hopefully see you in the next episode. So bye-bye. Uh,